All right, here we go. All right, split him now. Go right at him. He takes your dish it off. There you go. Score. Score. Go. Oh, sorry, sorry. Find him. Good. Go. Go. Here we come. Come in. Come in. We got four and three. Four and three. Find the open man. Right at him. Right at him. Where is he? Good. Good movement. Catch. Shot. Go. Open. Good. All right. Now it's five on five. Just make a play. Just make a play. Get a shot. Don't turn the ball over. Get a shot. Don't turn the ball over. There we go. Good. You got nine seconds. That's a good look. All right. Give him a hand. Give him a hand. That's a good job. So that's, uh, those are two drills. We got about three or four other ones that we do, but those, that's the kind of staple. We'll do that every single day. And uh, like I said, I, I love the concept of an extra offensive man on the, f f on the floor. Because what it does is it makes the guy with the ball really aware of trying to get something for him, but always knowing there's a guy that's wide open and he's the one that the coach wants to shoot the ball. And then when you get into five on five, you get into real games that is in there. And uh, that concept can, has to stay because as we, with the way we move, the way we move on the off, off side of the ball, how we dri dribble drive and try to drift it. I mean, well, we've always got open guys in different spaces and that's who we expect our players to find for shots. And again, our whole um, you know, offense philosophy is built around hitting shots. We've got to be able to hit shots. Our post guys are good, and we're going to show you how we use our postmen right now uh, in transition. The number one key when we recruit postmen is they need to be able to run. Like We like big size, but if, if they're so big that they can't run and they become really predominantly half-court offensive players, they'll have a hard time playing minutes for us, so it's kind of a disservice to recruit them. So we're recruiting runners. We get guys who can run and catch. And then from there, we hopefully, hopefully we can you know, put them into a, uh, a position where they can really help our team. All right, what I'll do now is I'll just show you our basic uh, offensive transition, how we start. I need a point guard up here. I need a two man on the wing, five man down in the post, four man trailer, three guy, free, free throw line extended over on that side, okay? Who's a four? I need a four trailer. All right, so we've run our, uh, our nugget drill up and down the floor. The guys are tired. They're huffing and puffing. They're looking at their teammates. A couple guys missed shots that caused them to run a little suicide or whatever. And now we're going to go right into our basic transition where, where we're going up and back for five minutes and trying to get a winner with just transition offense. And the way we run this thing, we've got three or four different things that we do, but our basic set is our point guard will early the ball up and he'll cut through. Cut through and go out the opposite side, okay? Now, everything that we do is based on getting the ball in the post. So when the ball runs in the post, all the rest of the pattern is busted. And you're gonna dive inside, outside, or banana cut high, depending on our scouting report, what we're trying to get and then you're filling, okay? A lot of times when you fill, the ball goes in, you might even brush screen for him right here, and then he comes off, so we've got that option. You can step right here and shoot. We got about six or seven ways that we split the post, but when the ball goes into the post, it's power and everything's off. We're running a split of the post. 